Hello guys, this is Akib. Uh, I'm very excited about uh, creating another video on Bayesian theorem to solve a map hypothesis. Uh, actually, in last video, I have, what I have recorded, there was a problem, so video was a bit blurred. So, but don't worry about that because we are going to review what we have uh, already. Uh, developed in uh, uh, what we have already solved in the previous video so let's go through this we have seen Bayesian theorem problem or it is solved the probability we have seen the probability uh, probability uh, date probability formula for the Bayesian theorem this is PIT this is PD at the P at divided by PD so we have posterior probability and then we have prior prob probability for the and this is a specific formula for Bayesian theorem and uh, then we have seen a question a patient takes a cancer test and result came back positive the result returns the correct positive result in 98% of the cases in which disease is actually present and a correct negative result is in only 98% of the cases in which disease is not present all right furthermore 0 0.0 rate of the entire population have this cancer so what is probability that the patient has cancer? Okay, so looking at uh, uh, the formula, in order to find out P PID, we need PD, PH and PD. So based upon the question, actually first of all, we have to, we have to do it step by step and we need to actually uh, find out what are the basic classes and what is hypothesis. So there are two type of classes, the patient, does has can patient has cancer or has not cancer. So has cancer is going to be positive and does not has cancer is going to be the negative. So next thing we next in step two we are going to actually draw confusion matrix and uh, then we are going to uh, fill in the matrix with the with the information given in the question. So it the question says that correct positive result is 98% of the cases in which disease is actually present. So when disease is present, disease is positive, and uh, and disease is positive so the correct positive result is 98 percent of the cases which is 0.98 so and when disease is not present the correct negative result is 0.97 so based upon 0 0.97 and 0.98 we can find out other values by subtracting this from one and by subtracting this from one to get this all right and so and the next thing as per the formula we need to find out pH, PDH and PD. So pH is basically probability of cancer and probability of not cancer. It is also, also given that 0 0.008 of entire population have this cancer. So 0 0.008 is the cancer. Probability of cancer is this. Probability of not cancer is this. And probability of... Okay. So after this we need to find out uh, probability of probability of data on given cancer so this is the probability of pdh this is also pdh this is pdh and this is pdh so this this is the pdh is mean when the data is negative and hypothesis is not cancer so pdh data is negative hypothesis is not cancer so value is 0.97 and this is data is positive and the hypothesis is negative not cancer so it is this data is negative hypothesis is cancer it is this data is positive hypothesis is also positive mean cancer so it is this so we have uh, uh, we have calculated the values for pdh so the next thing as per formula we need pd okay so so we have this we have we have already uh, calculated the value for pd uh, uh, ph and pdh so so as per question we need to find out what is probability of patient has cancer. So when we need to find out what is probability of patient has cancer, actually we need a positive data. So positive data means we need to we need to uh, we need to calculate uh, the probability based upon this data coming in whole column. All right. So we can write it down like this. Uh, probability of cancer for with positive data and then replace all the D's with positive and all the H with cancer in this formula and then we need to find out P plus PD 
okay so the formula for PD is uh, actually this one so uh, PDH into PX and summation sign so we can actually call it we can say safely say since we are going we need a positive data so we need a positive data for not cancer and we need a positive data for cancer so let's replace PDH data is positive and hypothesis is data is positive and hypothesis is not cancer so replace it data is positive hypothesis is not cancer and also this uh, not cancer then the plus sign and data is positive and hypothesis is also positive data is positive hypothesis is also cancer and this uh, h is also replaced with cancer and then replace all the values we have already calculated in this and this is the, the final value for pd p plus so now we have a probability of cancer which is this probability of positive cancer which is this probability of positive which is this replace the values and get the final result which is probability of cancer uh, on given data so this was actually uh, calculated for for a normal bayesian theorem problem so in extending extending to this sometime we need to ask for sometime we have to calculate the map hypothesis so map of hypothesis is also working almost same like this instead in fact it is a bit easy to find out a map hypothesis so this is the formula for Bayesian theorem but but in order to find out a map hypothesis actually we need only we need to find out only pdh and ph all right so actually we don't need to calculate pd always so so we need to actually find out the map hypothesis the formula for map hypothesis is h map is basically r max the maximum value which is going to be between pdh and multiplied by ph all right so multiplied by ph so we are going to calculate um, Mm, probability for we are going to calculate so, so in in the next question when we uh, we have to ask about we, we have to calculate the map hypothesis for patient has cancer so since cancer in order to calculate the positive hypothesis we need positive data so we have to calculate uh, we, we we have to cal we have we need a positive data so in order to proceed to calculate a map hypothesis we have to find out pdh and ph for this pdh for ph for this uh, pdh for ph for this and this and then we need to multiply to get hypothesis and then we need to find out hypothesis for this and this and out of them uh, whatever is the greater value it will be our map hypothesis so it is very easy let's do it since it's uh, all right the fundamental steps for calculating a map hypothesis will be the same because the question is same so cancer is going to be positive and not cancer is going to be negative then the prediction values the matrix is going to be the same and uh, probability of pH is going to be same, PDH is going to be same. So whatever we have calculated so far is going to be useful to calculate a map hypothesis. It is already there. <coughs> so let's proceed to find out the uh, first value for map hypothesis. Because uh, as we said, we need uh, we need we need well we need a hypothesis for all positive data. So for uh, and, and we need to multiply it. So let's uh, do it like this. So we need a positive data with cancer positive data with cancer hypothesis get multiplied with cancer. All right and we need 
of positive data with not positive data with cancer and positive data with not cancer and again hypothesis is not cancer so th this hypothesis is also going to be not cancer and they are going to get multiplied with each other so by pasting value for probability of positive cancer with probability of positive probability of positive cancer 0.98 probability of positive cancer 0.98 get multiplied with probability of cancer 0 0.08 probability of not cancer and this value probability of positive not cancer probability of positive uh, not cancer 0 0.03 going to multiplied by probability of not cancer probability of not cancer which is 0.992 and the final values for this 0 0.00784 and the value is 0 0.02976 all right and uh, we have calculated two hypotheses two values for positive data to get a map hypothesis and the final map hypothesis will be the one which is the greater one this one so h map will be 0 0.02976 and uh, that's it so that's all about uh, finding a map hypothesis for this uh, question so yeah so that's it so hope you have enjoyed this video so we are going to record another video for the topic so please like and subscribe and see you in next video till then enjoy machine learning